Today we're going to be talking about the pain of hard work versus the pain of regret. And if you like this episode, I have episodes that come out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if you like it, please hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. Okay, so when we're talking about the pain of hard work versus the pain of regret, we all know that hard work sucks. Hard work really sucks. And that's why it's called hard work, because it's, it's hard, obviously. But the only thing worse then the pain of hard work is the pain of regret. Now, these are two separate things. The pain of hard work is something that happens right now. The pain of regret is something that happens later on. And most of us, with the way it is in, in these years, 2017, 2018 coming up, we all want everything immediately. We want everything right now. Everything's instantaneous. When I was younger, it used to be really hard to find the answer to something because you'd have to go to the, you'd have to go into the actual library, find the encyclopedia, and look something up. Now, if you have any question about anything, you can find the answer within an instant because all you have to do is Google it. We're used to instant gratification. Hard work and the pain of regret is the complete opposite. So the pain of regret comes from being lazy, from not being motivated, from uh, deciding that you don't want to do something you really should, some sort of procrastination. Later on, that's, now that's the, the, the instant gratification is, is not doing something when you should do it. Later on though is when you have the pain of regret. The pain of hard work is going past the instant gratification, knowing that you will get delayed gratification later on, whether that be with money or whether that be with the success that you want or looking back in your life and actually being proud. Sometimes hard work is really hard. You're going to lose sleep sometimes. You're going to lose friends when you work really hard. You're going to miss important events sometimes as well. You're going to miss your friends' birthdays. You're going to miss different things. Sometimes you'll have to travel and you won't be able to be there for certain moments. But you have to know in the long run that this hard work is going to pay off. The only thing worse than the pain of hard work is the pain of regret. Think from right now in this very moment that you're in. Where do you want to be 20 years from now? What do you want to be doing 20 years from now? What's your profession? What's your family look like? Who are you surrounded by? How much money do you have in the bank? What does your business look like? 20 years from now, if you're looking back, what is, if, if, if you put yourself in you know, 20 years from now, when you're looking back, do you want to think about the time when you worked really hard and you have actually got to where you are to set your family up, to set your life up, to, to look back and be proud of what you did because of the hard work? Or 20 years from now, do you want to be looking back with regret thinking, man, I could have done something better with my life. I could have brought the greatness out inside of me. I could have done what I knew that I was capable of doing, but I was just so afraid. I was so lazy. Why didn't I make myself do that? I could have set up my children and my family and my spouse's life so much better had I just made that decision that I was going to go for what I wanted to go for. Because here's the thing, as best as you and I know it, we only have one life. We have one life to live that we know of. Do you want to get to the end of it and wish that you could have done more? That pain of regret. If you want to become motivated, if you want to get your tail up and actually do something, be motivated by not wanting to regret what your life has become in 20 years. Because here's the thing. Your life could either be exactly the same in 20 years or it could be amazing. It's probably not going to go backwards because you've already built yourself to the person that you are and who you are right now is able to attain the level of success that you currently have. So you're probably not going to go backwards. But if you don't do anything different, if you don't make any changes, if you don't push yourself out of your comfort zone, nothing's going to change. You're going to be in the exact same position. So when you look back 20 years from now, are you going to regret that you didn't do everything that you could to make the greatness that you had inside of you come out? Are you going to wish that you had a better story to tell your children? Or are you going to go, yeah, there was a lot of sleepless nights. There was times when I had to say no to go out and partying. There was times when I missed a couple birthday parties. But look at what I have done. Look at what I've done for myself, for my family, for my friends, for everyone around. And the best part about success is this. A lot of people think in this day and age that in order to be successful, you have to screw people over. You have to do things you don't really want to do and 
push people out of the way. And, and for some reason, there's this thought of in order to be successful, I have to screw a lot of people over. And a lot of people think in their head, well, I don't want to be successful just because of that one reason. There's an article that I was reading talking about the new billionaire. And what they say is that the new billionaire from now on is going to be the person that figures out ways to help a billion people. Because they say if you can help a billion people and make $1 off of those billion, guess what? You're now a billionaire. The new billionaire, the new currency, the new billionaire, what you're going to, in order to be that person, you have to give so much value to the world in order to receive it. Now you might be listening to this and saying, I don't want to be a billionaire. I just want to bring out what I know what is inside of me. Well, then you have to plant the seeds now. You have to plant the seeds right now and do the things that need to be done in order to be sitting under that tree in 20 years that you're proud of. You know, there's a phrase, and the reason why I'm saying this is that the phrase says, the best time to plant a tree, or, excuse me, the best time to plant a seed for a tree is 20 years ago. The next best time is right now. So what are you doing with your current present moment that you're in? Are you holding yourself back because you're so afraid of the greatness that's inside of you? You know, our greatest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our greatest fear is that we're powerful beyond measure, as a quote says by Maya Angelou. We're so powerful that it actually kind of scares the crap out of us. And so we think that we need to play small for people because we don't want to make other people uncomfortable by us playing all out. But what you have to realize is that when you play all out, when you're on fire out in front of the world, it will set other people on fire. There's a phrase that I used to live by and, and still love and says, if you set yourself on fire, people will come to watch you burn. And what that means is that when you set, when you literally light yourself on fire from the inside out and you're so motivated and so driven towards something, people look at you and say, hey, that's really inspiring. Maybe I could do that as well. See, we're fearful that if we go out and we play all out, that for some reason, people are gonna look at us and feel bad about themselves or they're gonna look at us and judge us, but they look at people who are on fire and they say, maybe I could do that too, right? I'm just an average person, he's just an average person, maybe I could do that as well. So there's only two things that you have, either the pain of regret or the pain of hard work, right? The pain of regret or the pain of hard work. Where you are now is a reflection of your past decisions. 20 years from now, it will be a reflection of your decisions now over the next 20 years. What are you going to do to make the next 20 years of your life as great as possible? Are you going to make the decision? Because it all starts with the decision. Are you going to make the decision that you will no longer hold back the greatness that's inside of you? The best time to plant a seed was 20 years ago. The next best time is right now. Work hard for what you believe in that will help other people, that will bring value to the world, and you will not get to the end of your life and wish that you had done more. You will get to the end of your life and realize that you did everything that you possibly could. Don't get to the end of your life and regret that you could have done more. So if you like this episode, once again, I have new episodes that come out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if you want to see more of them, hit that subscribe button. If you like this episode, please click the like button. And once again, any questions or comments, concerns, please put them down below. I'll try to answer you whenever I get a chance. But uh, I appreciate you watching this, and I'll see you guys soon.